Welcome back to another episode of Recoil Small Engine. My name is Caves. If you're new here, I do anything and everything to do with small engines. We are back with the Yamaha Enticer 340. We this time are pulling the carb off, cleaning the carb out. So with that being said, I'll start the time lapse. I gotta pop these two out and get this carburetor out and off. So I'll catch you then. Alright, I popped it again, so taking that off. I just popped the two uh, screws up. So this, sorry. This Skidoo had an automatic oiling system, which I have now taken out. Um, I have made it so that it's no longer um, a part of said Skidoo anymore. So we mix all our gas. All I do here is try and teach you how to fix things. So this will be your first time seeing me tear into a skidoo carb. Now this skidoo is running but not the greatest. I mean I did do a will it run. I don't know if you've seen it yet um, or not. If you haven't, I did do a will it run and that will be uploaded. If you have, well you I'll leave a link in the top corner. That bowl holds a lot of gasoline. Who wants to fire up the welder and make an arc on the table? Okay, so that's clean. First, kind of clean. So we're gonna show you. Oh, maybe not. I think that float sunk. But you can see, so this float is not quite set where it's supposed to be. You can kind of see the awkward angle. Right there is where it's supposed to be. So what we'll do is I'll grab a punch and a little hammer and I need the little screwdriver to check these jets. So we'll get that. We will get the punch. Um, this guy here. We can beat it with the back end of the screwdriver is all you need. And that guy sits there. Enough so that I can get a little flat screwdriver under this. This is a one way um, 
needle, which I like. Or one way, not needle, but a, I guess you could call it a keeper for the for the carp. Now for skidoos, jetting is kind of important, kind of not. Um, I mean, if you're up in the mountains, it's important, but uh, down here in central Alberta, it's not a too bad of a not too bad of a thing not something to worry about let's just put it that way let's get that guy set back in there let's see if that's loose that was tightened up let's check this inner jet I don't know why it wasn't tuning now I could just need to sit there and finagle with it which we will do in this episode as well. Try and get it tuned properly. Got to set the throttle so that the throttle goes wide open. Like that helps, doesn't it? There's fuel down in that jet. And that jet's open. Yeah, that jet's open. Okay, we're good there. I'm not going to pop that one out because I personally don't think I have a need to, but um, this car, somebody has been in here already and cleaned it out. But we are going to set our float height and see if we get an on-off response when we blow on it. Um, and that's, I think, the most important thing with a skidoo is your float height. Um... So how do we set our float height? Well, looks like our float was in backwards. Was the float in? No, it was in like this. So that's our float height. <clears throat> so we'll just bend this tab. Just a micro adjustment is all you need. And then we'll grab our needle, which is our one-way needle. Or not, I call it a needle, but it's uh, like a keeper for the float, whatever you call it. There, and you can see how straight, like there's a line here. Okay, and you can see it's straight, it's not down. That's set where I would call good is set there. So, let's see if we put her back together now. If she will um, if we can blow into it and it hold or what the case is so when doing carburetor parts or tightening four bolts in general try and do diagonally um, it won't because if if I cinch down these two then tried cinching down these two, I could potentially warp um, the body of the bowl, like the bowl um, top of it, and then you do have leaking problems, and then you can't solve it. So that's one thing to try and do is tighten in. Now I'm getting them all in, but I'll be tightening it in set like in corner to corner sections <laughs> okay so let's cinch this one down then we'll move let's get this one down cinched you don't have to go too terribly tight with them just tight a uh, taut I should say just taut not cinch them to nothing but there, come back to the far one. There. Now this one. And then it tightens them down as even as you can get them. Okay, one last thing I do is I blow in to your fuel and inlet, which is right here. Okay, and this direction it should be uh, you should be able to blow air in upside down you shouldn't be able to so let's see 
I can. And upside down, I can't. So I know my needle and seat and float are working good. Okay, I'm going to get this back on the machine. And I'll get you when I have the machine fired up. And we'll see if we can get this garb tuned. Our video is getting pretty long. But uh, I'll see you then. Okay, let's get this thing. I'm going to sit here and finagle with it, and uh, um, we'll have to do a skidoo ride in the winter time on it so that you guys can hear it run properly. But thank you thus far for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.